What's up scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill and today I'm scrapping these adorable photos of my Nana and Violet. One day um, we went over to her house when she was living at home and the toys that she has for the kids are stored in these two buckets and Violet decided to put hers on her head so Nana of course decided to empty out the other bucket and also put it on her head uh, and so they were bucket buddies and they thought it was hilarious and so I had to get some photos of course um, these photos weren't the greatest quality just because of the lighting at the time and so I decided to print them small using the Project Life uh, app I used the, the collage the small print setting there and I printed them out on my home printer and uh, I'm just making them into a giant, giant photo strip. And this is something that I freaking love to do, especially when you have uh, photos that are taken at the same time and they show like a series of movement or um, facial expressions. I think it's just a fabulous way to uh, document your photos and display them. Um, it's also a great one for uh, parents and carers of tiny humans out there who find it very difficult to get your children to stand still. And I have many photo strips of Archie <laughs> where he's too quick and so the photos are blurry so I wanted to make them smaller or he's moving and doing different faces in every one and none of them is the absolute favourite but I want to capture all of them to kind of document his personality and his character um, so photo strips for the win and I think that a lot of the times um, people when you say photo strips uh, think that you mean the ones that you get like developed in a photo booth um, but you can make your own all you have to do I think matting them really makes them look like one cohesive strip altogether um, they can be any size you want I've done four by six photo strips they're big they're chunky uh, I've done tinier photos than this all the photos so for this one I grabbed I have this paper pad and it's not a proper paper pad it was for a collection or garden party I think it was by crepe paper and I was late to the party haha <laughs> pun intended and I missed out on buying the 12 by 12 paper pad at that time and the only one that was available was the project pad, which I've never bought before, just because I think the value lies in the paper pad, not the project pad. Um, you get less papers and a lot of them are these plain cardstocky type papers, which I don't really use. And I was pretty desperate um, for some of the papers. So I did end up buying the project pad this time. And so I'm using that pink as the background and then this floral reminds me very much of my grandmother um, she's a very florally lady and so I've popped that on top and then I like to overhang the photo strip off the background and the I guess the feature pattern paper of the page I'm using these stickers and I'm spelling out my title I started with the middle letter um, and kind of I knew that I would have two words that were round about the same amount of letters and uh, when you give into consideration how skinny an I is compared to some of the other letters they're basically both six letter words and so I made sure that the space between the letters was right in the middle and then I don't know how I did it because multicolored letters drive me a little bit bonkers but I managed to use all warm tones for the multicolored letters and I had enough letters to do so um, they just they look a bit too chaotic and I feel like I don't like multicolored letters because my pages often look a bit too chaotic um, and so yeah it, it's too much chaos on one page um, so I'm using some older stickers from a bloom sticker paper um, sticker paper sticker sheet from crepe paper and my nana is an avid collector of bambies um, of deer figurines and um, she instilled that onto me as well and I have a little bambi collection and so I had been saving up um, this sticker for a long time I used it on a I think I've had a couple of these sticker sheets and I used another one on a layout with her as well 
Um, and so I put that little deer in the corner there and I love the way it's kind of looking up at the photo. Uh, and then I've used a label that I'm not a fan of. It's, it's a glossy label. And if you've used these glossy labels, they just are not friendly with pen and drying time. And so when I'm feeling impatient, I often stuff them up <laughs> quite badly. Um, I don't think I did smudge this one, which was really good, but I often do smudge them. This is a little washi tape roll from the brand Band, Bandy, B-A-N-D-E, -E, and I freaking love it. I'm obsessed with it. Um, if you're a Patreon peep, you, you see me use this all of the time. It's in my couch scrapping kits. It's basically connected to me and as special to me as gold glitter stars. They, it's so handy to have. Um, and so I used a bit of that here and there because like I said, my Nana is a very florally lady. And I decided to upload this video today because tomorrow is her birthday. Um, she's turning 94. And so uh, we're going to go see her um, in the nursing home that she lives in now and bring a little cake. Uh, and so if you'd like to wish my Nana happy birthday in the comments, I can show them to her tomorrow and read them to her because um, she's very she's very lonely in uh, the nursing home that she's in at the moment. She's She sticks to her room and um, she hasn't met anyone there yet, so any friends. Uh, and so I think it would really cheer up her spirits if she had some birthday messages so if if you wanted to um that would be amazing um but she's yeah 94 years young um and i hope she's surprised tomorrow by um seeing us i haven't seen her for quite a few months actually because um either the kids or aaron or i have been sick um over the past few months and i haven't wanted to to bring anything in there obviously uh and so yeah i haven't seen her for quite a few months so it'll be good to see her tomorrow so I'm adding of course some gold glittery stars because she is a queen that deserves all of the gold glittery things in life that she wants and I'm just kind of tucking them in here and there and I really like how the floral paper became such a focus usually when I do pattern papers in the background they get covered up quite a bit um, but I just wanted to you know to just feature it a bit and not put embellishments everywhere as tempting as it was adding some little doodly pieces in there and this is one of my favorite layouts for the month just because it's so silly and I think the the papers and the embellishments that I picked just suit my nana um, really well so I hope you've enjoyed this video and we're jazz handing jazz hands there we go uh, again thank you for watching and sticking around on the inky june marathon only a few days left now if you haven't watched any of the videos go back catch up there's there's a lot to catch up on uh, and i will see you tomorrow with another video tomorrow's video might be up a little bit later because it's the the weekend and we've got the kids home and things but it will be up tomorrow and i will see you all very very soon bye